Now I move to the the task. The task is very simple. Within half an hour, I finish my lecture. So the topic is uh, define the statistics, descriptive statistics, inference statistics, and scale of measurement. Please kindly note that the third one, the third the part of the presentations, uh, it comes with questions regularly. These questions regularly come to the uh, uh, net examination as well as the this is the basic for the statistics. If you go to about the scales of measurement, I'm sure you can do any kind of higher level statistics because these are basic things about the scales of measurement. Um, just I'm starting with what is statistics. Uh, even some people are having the uh, wrong notion about the statistics. It's very complicated. Uh, it's very much, uh, uh, what is that? Make a lot of confusion while doing statistics. But if you're doing in a logical, in a sequence manner, statistics is a very simple one. So what is the logic or what is the sequence we have to follow in the case of statistics? So statistics are techniques and there is a five process order. The first process we have to collect the data. We have to collect the data. Then the second process we have to organize the data. After collecting we have to do the organization. After organizing the things I can go with the presentation. After presentation I can move to the analyze part like I can do some kind of statistical approach. Finally I come for the conclusion about the interpret. Just I'm going to ask you a single question. Kindly tell your answer in this. Um, uh, uh, how you can predict? So um, it's not predict. Kindly give your opinion uh, or the answer from your end. Uh, in the case of the teacher educator, who is higher? Whether male is higher or female is higher? The percentage of the the percentage ratio of the teacher educators. Female is higher, sir. Female, female is female is higher. Female okay. Is higher. Okay. Yeah, so this is called interpretation. What you said, no, it is called interpretation. How you can give this answer? How did you give the answer? Sir, uh, in my in college. Uh, in my hey, college, anyone, uh, yeah. the total number is 100. Uh -huh. Total strength is 100. In that 100, mm -hmm. uh, only six boys were there. Uh, yeah, exactly. Oh, exactly, Jaydev. So that is called collect. You got here? So, and Jayadev, what you said to me, the final answer, the females are high. How you tell this answer in the sense? You are collecting the information from at least in from your college. When you did the BA, you are finding that you have the 100 students. Out of 100, only six are boys. After that, you are organized. How you are organizing it? So, you are organized into male and female into two components. So, collection is called all the 100 students. Data is called collection. After that, you are dividing to male, the different factors. Um, May, uh, what is that? Uh, male is male and female. You put it in some kind of organized matter. Then finally, you are presenting the number six male, uh, ninety four female. Then finally, you are doing the analysis. So what is the analysis? So comparison of ninety six to six, uh, ninety six bigger. It seems that uh, finally you are conclude that. So after analyzing with the comparisons, like who is big, who is less, you are giving some kind of interpretation that females are better than the so females are higher in the case of the teacher educator compared to the male that is called interpretation you got clear so therefore for giving a single output in the case of statistics as a final interpretation you should do the this kind of process what is the first of steps for doing a statistics collect the data after collect the data you have to organize in a tabular form in a structured form then after that, you have to present the data in your respective column. You have to fill these things in your respective places. Then after this, you have to do some kind of analysis. Like you can go with the frequency analysis or you can go with the mean or median and mode. Then finally, the research may come. From the research, you are giving the answer. You are giving us the interpretation that females are better than the female or male are better than the female. So that is called statistics. I hope you understood now. So what is in the statistics? Statistics is a collection of the five terms. What are the terms? The first term is to collect the information. So in the case of statistics, the information I am using is a data, called as a data. Okay. So what is the difference between information and data? Do you have any doubt, uh, doubts about the information and data? What is information? What is data? Well, information may not be uh, right, but uh, data will be perfect. Ah, data will be perfect. Okay. Okay. If you're finding more information only, we can come for some kind of data. Okay. We can find that. Oh, this data is like this. Okay. Generally, uh, information sometimes is not, uh, it's some kind of vague also, but data is not a vague one. It's exactly, it's pinpoint the currency things. Okay. So, uh, therefore, we can use the collect the data. Sir. Yes, yes. Yes, Anna. Sir, information may be subjective in nature. 
picture but data is always like most accurate and objective exactly 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 okay yeah so even i can speak see previously I, uh, nearly i talked to the half an hour uh, so like i given the information that nothing the information related to statistics right because all the information related to the the, the comics uh, related to the these just sort of the uh, the other things so even i give the information that information is not give you the actual fact about the any statistics okay just i am sharing my views on but in the case of the data should be specific uh, and that it should be accurate also therefore we have to collect the accurate data then after collecting the data we can go with organized manner after organizing uh, organized means like a tabular form or you can divide into male and female or hindu christian muslim you can go divide the the data into different spectrums or different heads then you can present the data after that you can do some kind of analysis like you can go with percentage or you can do a mean or median or standard deviation anything you can adapt it finally you are come for any conclusion about the results which you find from the analysis so this entire process is called uh, statistics so this question is my comes the uh, two more question what is statistics so the statistics is a combination of the five terms is a technique is a sequential techniques you could not be avoid one uh, things uh, from here so you should be go with sequence only first you have to do the collection collection process of the data you have to organize the data then after that you can present then you can move to the analyze then finally you can come for the interpretations about the data sets we have and finally interpret data to make better decision so we have to find the better decision is also we should collect the information organize the information present the information analyze the information and interpret the information is correct matter yes now i move to the next slide generally the case of the statistics we have the two competition of statistics one is called descriptive statistics other one is called inferential so what is the descriptive uh, generally in the case of descriptive the term itself you can understood that describing describe so if you are able to describe the the data then it's called describing for example in the case of the emr students someone was asking that um, what about the emr first year batch so i may tell that ah they are very good so what i did i given you one word answer that one word answer represent for whom the one word answer is represent for whom the one word answer so i told that they are very good okay what is this wait this much of silence it's a good hour for the class sir uh, the whole class yes exactly so even i am giving the one answer that one answer is giving the the meaning of it give you the characteristics of the all other students okay it's not a single integers i am giving the opinion about the first year students in a single answer so it means that that answer is me describing the students so it may describe the students okay it describing the students characteristics so generally for describing the statistics we can describe the students characteristics in a qualitative based and quantitative like if i tell us a good very good very bad that is called qualitative instead of that i am telling that they are above the average so i am compen with some kind of statistic procedure so the students are above average what is my above average what is my above average i am giving the same answer in a discrete manner but i am give the term as a above average so what is the represent the above average maybe based on some scores or something yeah so because i am conducting the examinations after that i come for the conclusion that they are not a normal students they above the normal students okay that means that they are good achievers most of the people are good achievers that's why i am telling a single response that they all the students are above the uh, average above the average so even i am represent the entire class of the first years in a single word as a above average previously i told us here some kind of quality debate but here i am talking about the quantitative so here the above average represent i know the average value then only i can talk about the above average is it correct average is it's not come for my um, prediction that oh average i can take 10 mark uh, uh the uh, above average i may take 25 it's not like this okay once i conduct the examination i am pursuing that all of them more than 50 percentage due to that i am come to the conclusion that all of them above average students they are not less than that so that is the answer is talking about the statistics therefore when you're talking about the descriptive statistics that particular statistics te techniques may helping to describe the data for example if someone asking that uh, uh, how many students in your google meet so i may tell that when i start the classes nearly 28 students so 23 students but after half an hour only 18 students are there okay what is this one what is this one what is this one is it a descriptive or inferential 
sir it's inferential statistics aha uh-huh. sir inferential statistics inferential so so how how it will be inferential how it will be inferential uh because you are uh, uh, describing based on a pattern i mean uh, like 23 students were in the starting and then 18 are left by the time uh-huh. half an hour goes uh-huh. so uh, based on that you are in yeah, your yeah. inference in you are making taking out an inference no no the inference it should be uh, see asana is good what are the that is uh, partially correct but normally the inferential findings may have for the population whenever you come for the conclusion particularly the inference statistics that findings may act in the case of the it may act in the case of the population but i am talking about the our current scenario only our mmt classrooms when they start the class 23 students but after half an hour only the 18 students are there so it describing the the number of students in the each times starting time 23 students now after half an hour only 80 so describing the moments only my mmt classroom only i am talking generally if i asking that who is better than the who is better in the achievement level whether male is uh, better or female is better that's the next question so kindly give the answer i am asking the questions generally even you can give the answer in the in a class wise also uh, who is the great achievers in the case of the mark the mark based who is a good achiever whether it's a male or female what is the answer in that female female sir Uh, how we are telling that Pragna? because you are telling the answer based on your class but finally this finding also make act in the case of the population is it correct population. if you are taking the consideration of the entire country of the emmet students if you do the same study related to the achievement uh, mark achievement hopefully the females are high because your classroom findings of the percentage of the who is higher who is uh, higher mark so there i am finding the result that females are better than the male in the case of the average student the same findings may act in the case of the population but the in this case for example uh, now i am t- telling that 23 students are there 18 students are there only this day it may happen but tomorrow when i take the classes it's not be happened is it correct sana so in the yes, case sir. of the descriptive that particular moment only describing the particular moment only describe but in the case of inferential once you give the answer no it may follow the next time also so generally i may tell that females are all the meetings females population high compared to the male what is this one if you go for the all the meetings of this kind of google meet or any meeting i cross that most of the uh, participants are the female sector not in the male sector is it inferential or descriptive inferential it is inferential because it is talking about the generosity generous uh, generality of the things okay generosity but in the case of descriptive it talking about the sample only so what is my sample now only the mmt classroom so here i am describing the data sets of the 28 students only that is called describe but when i talking about the the comparison of male and female i am giving the opinion about the population also parallel so in the case of descriptive statistics it may describe the data sets but in the case of the inferential it giving the opinion or giving the answer about the population descriptive data is talking about the sample you got clear descriptive statistics is talking about this sample but the inference statistics even you are doing the research for the sample but the results may act in the case of the population suppose i do the research in the, our emmet class from that i am giving the emotional intelligent questionnaire uh, from this i came to know that this is uh, came to know that uh, most of the males are better than the female in the case of the emotional intelligence this is findings right what is your opinion whether this findings may act in the case of the population may act in the case of the population no sir no oh. it may, it may be specific to a specific group ah uh, it, it may be specific there is okay huh. but uh, in the case of previously i told the example no what about the achievements female achievement the percentage of the uh, 12th standard and 10th standard why the females are higher than the male this is not uh, my perception it is the general data it's available in the everywhere even the newspaper if you look onto this you can easy to locate it so damn sure the next year also what is the percentage uh, unfortunately this year there is no examination suppose the next year 12th examination is there who will be a uh, highest pass percentage who may be highest pass percentage next year also next year mm-hmm. also teammate right so therefore this finding even i am 
do the research for this particular 12th standard batch only but these same findings may act in the case of the the next year also that kind of study for example when you go for t test or f test that's called higher level calculations when you go for the t test f test factor anava this kind of higher level calculation may come in the case of the inferential the low level statistics like uh, mean median mode standard deviation percentage analysis this is come under the descriptive so i hope now you understand the differences descriptive means it describe the data inferential means it give the inferential about the populations even we are doing the research in this sample only but we may find the answer uh, from the popular from the sample uh, to the uh, what is the populations that is the inferential so once you leave this particular uh, slides you may understand only two slides uh, i am skipping the third part because already one o clock i'm going to skip the third part of my presentation today the next week i'm going to speak about the third part so in the case of descriptive statistics it only describe the data please it may only the describing the data and presenting data and catching data it increasing the sample data set only so for example in this particular group i came to know that in this mh students uh, one uh, one minute one uh, two three Ah, four, four main students are there. Remaining are female. Okay, this findings may have only this MED batch only. Is it correct? This current meeting only. Next tomorrow meeting there is a chance it may vary. Is it correct? So what it happened? The particular time which a data is a sampler which I take as a data that only is describing the case of descriptive study. The best example the number of frequency. I am talking about the frequency of male and frequency of female. So the frequency, mean, median, mode, standard deviation, this kind of basic statistics that might come under the theme name is called as a descriptive generally it may describe the data only in the case of the inferential so one more slide it estimating and hypothesizing it estimating that term is important even i am doing the research uh, even i am doing the research only for the our ms students i am conducting one achievement test from this i came to know that females are better than the men so there is a chance the same findings may have to the other colleges of the mh students also there is a chance is it correct so from this i came to know that females are better than the male or males are better than the female i can come for some kind of hypothesis testing that hypothesis testing it may give the answer or decision about the characteristics of the populations that is called inferential then in the case of the inferential statistics we can get the answer from the sample but the sample research may have in the case of the population i hope you understood so uh, when you compare with the people who is bigger who is lesser who is a high who is a low that kind of comparison how it comes in the sense because of the uh, this kind of statistical project because of the inference statistics because they are attending some kind of treaters or efters or anova or anpova or manova manpova lot of statistics techniques are there so once you spell the terms you may fear about the statistics so don't worry statistics is a very good subject if you like Uh, if you, please, I request all to turn your positive uh, aspects of your statistics. I am sure you may get this some kind of positive opinion about statistics. Just I am uh, conclude with one small story. You should give the answer um, because this story is talking about the inferential statistics and descriptive statistics. So please kindly read the story properly. I hope uh, some people are already familiar with this story. One day, a fisherman got up very early. Right? There was not enough sunlight to get into the sea. and he saw a pack of stones so when he go to the sea he saw some pack of stones um but he did not realize what is inside the pack so what did he do he paused the time he started to throw these stones into the sea because he want to pause it because he wake up early so um generally he may wake up 9 9 o'clock but today he is wake up 5 5 o'clock for example to pause the time he throw the stones one by two uh, one by one in the sea in the last moment he found that the last one which is which is having in his hand no uh, that is a stone that is like a diamond that is a diamond the sun comes up then only he saw that the stone was diamond the final stone so he had the packs of stone but unknowingly he throw the all other stone except one stone the final moment that he that stone which you uh, throw in this stone see no it is everything's a diamond he felt his misfortune fortune for throwing off all the diamond into the sea right so this is a story now i want to ask the moral of the story kindly give any moral of the story what is the moral of the story 
what is the moral of the story yes what is the moral of the story sir the moral of the story is that you before taking any decision you should analyze i mean it's the same thing like yeah. uh, before yeah. looking at what what was actually there in that bag so mm -hmm. he threw away so mm. until later he realized so it's the yeah. same thing like while we collecting we are collecting data so we should we should not partially collect we should be careful of all the factors and everything yeah. involved yeah. Yeah, exactly exactly is exactly. it a findings you know whether it's inferential because it is not you are not giving the answer for the this particular situation right you are giving the interpretation general in a general manner is it correct sana is it correct yes, sana yeah so yes. you are giving the answer in a some kind of generalized manner therefore that interpretations make come under the inference statistics so any other opinion any other opinion about this particular story any moral of the story suppose if i write the interpretation for the both man or the moral of the story into both uh okay so the moral of the story if i do a descriptive statistics i may give the answer like this don't get up earlier because of the things only he faced this incident is it correct right yes, sir. One, okay <laughs> otherwise this issues won't be there because he wake up no. early due to that ah, see i am coming from the conclusion this is talking about descriptive descriptive statistics normally is talking about the fact only the the uh, what is that well known things so the basic problem arises because he wake up earlier that's only talking about descriptive and the descriptive findings may not suitable for the all the cases just i'm coming back to the inference statistics if you are doing the inference statistics what the exact moral the occasion after the loss you won't be get you you got chance so see that person got the chance uh, the stones but once you throw the stones in the uh, sea in the diamond he will not return back that one right that that uh, final interpretations about the general conclusion about the story is the occasion after the loss you won't get it back right so this is a called inferential generally the inferential statistics it talking about the general general oh, sorry general things right that findings may happen in the case of the for any people you can go with population or any other groups also it might accept but in the case of descriptive it may accept only the particular scenario or particular person only right i hope now you understood the difference among this okay don't throw the remaining stone after realizing okay anyway so lot of uh, like also don't regret uh, about the past go with the future okay so lot of interpretations coming so that's also even the kavita answer is talking about the, the future sense okay it is called interpretations okay so that's also so any other answer any other answer Yes, yeah, thank you so much. So I may conclude with this uh, today's topic with the two uh, parts only. Uh, one is um, the the basis of scale. I will discuss about the later. So today we are talking about the only the basic statistics. What is statistics? Definition of statistics we discuss. So the statistics consists of the five terms: collect, organize, present, analyze, and interpret. Uh, in the case of the statistical method, uh, we are talking about the descriptive statistics, inference statistics. descriptive statistics talking about the describing okay it may act in the case of describing the data sets particularly the sample it's uh, describing the sample sets in the case of the inference statistics uh, it's give the uh, opinion or give the decisions about the population characteristics from the sample because we are doing the research we are doing the analysis based on the samples findings only but the samples data may give the meaningful answer for the population characteristics also so that kind of research it was inferential so i may stop up uh, stop with this here the next class we will discuss about the the other things uh, then finally i may summarize my presentation with uh, one small uh, anecdotes uh, uh, even uh, i cross uh, uh, on the two years before this um, uh, what is that this kind of experience from my end what is the experience in the sense uh, so uh, i hope you know so i am basically in mathematics i am staying uh, in the quarters this quarters consists of the nearly 15 houses so i am the ground floor uh, so in my quarters itself there is nearly three or four uh, faculties are st uh, staying there one chemistry two chemistry uh, one uh, commerce so like this some university faculties also they staying and one of the children of their family member he is studying the second standard only uh, uh, they studying the second standard uh, he is uh, he is using regularly in the uh, this one what is this um, calculator so in this calculator 
the uh, what is that one simple is not working so he came he thought that i'm basically in mathematics so i may know some answer in this that's why he came with uh, one calculator he asked me that sir in this calculator uh, the za symbol is not working so as a mathematics man i can cross alpha beta gamma like this some terms i knows but i didn't cross the term as a za then i asked him what what is this za then he pointed out the equal symbol so oh so after that i checked that uh, the the problem with the calculator is there there is a keyboard issues only uh, equal symbol there is a keyboard issue then i have the confusion why he is telling that za as a equal i got a little confusion in that and then i asked him why you are telling that za i thought that it may be in english sorry it may be in malayalam because i am not familiar with malayalam no? i thought it might be malayalam as a za as a uh, equation then in tamil we may call it a summon board okay summon board uh, what about in malayalam how we can talk about the equation the equal equal symbol the equal symbol mm-hmm. sorry summon 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 right all right so i have the confusion because they are belongs to the andhra that the children from the andhra so i thought that sometimes maybe uh, telugu uh, then i asked i once again i insisted to ask the question unfortunately that time my wife was not there because generally all the family members no particularly the life partner if the husband's not knowing anything they may happy because this question i don't the answer for this what is the so uh, unfortunately my wife is standing the outside that's why i'm politely asked the guy what is the za who you are telling is a za then he tell that no my teachers only telling that it is a za then i have the latter confusion why how the teachers may talking uh, telling that is a za as a symbol then finally he may explain to me uh, sir the teachers when you writing the board 1 to za 2 2 to za 4 3 to za 6 and 4 to za 8 so like that while writing the board normally the teachers may writing the board no so it's happened in the two years before so 1 into 2 2 2 into 2 4 but when the teachers are writing in a uh, what is that some kind of rhyming terms they may use 1 to za 2 2 to the 4 3 to the 6 so when the teachers are spelling the terms za uh, the same time the teachers are writing as a equation symbol so for his mind that he uh, understood that the za is a equal so he come to the wrong conclusion about this is the problem with the uh, the power of interpretation of course that's why i am telling so sometimes the interpretation what you are finding from our end no it's not all correct because the students cannot get the, the proper input the proper data he is not received from the teacher side due to that only this kind of wrong this kind of wrong things may happen to the, the wrong kind of interpretation may happen from the, the student side so as a teacher we should be highlight everything is properly otherwise the students may understood the concept in a wrong manner like this jaw manner so this uh, experience i cross even this kind of uh, jokes also i found from somewhere because uh, it's happened uh, uh, two years before and the biggest challenge in the case of the, the students like you this is a problem for the people uh, i put the terms a research lectures but this is also the part of the research the people are sitting and watching the lecture like this only right the people most of the time you the people are i hope you will the past one and a half years you are attending more programs more online programs and all what is the output in this it's a very highly questionable why questionable listen see the case you are very much deeply wa- watching this any lectures like this but the problem you are gaining the knowledge in your whole, what is it some kind of whole uh, whole vessels you are not keeping you are not implementing what you are practicing in the next ne- the next day due to that only you may forget so better to be uh, what is that hold the material hold the resource like this kind of boxes if you are hold the box nothing will be hand nothing in your mind so once you learn something novel kindly implement in the next day practice otherwise is very pathetic and the final story i take one more time one minute uh, from this story i may conclude because if you feel that the statistics here uh, pain statistics is a complicated subject then kindly see this particular uh, story and then come for conclusion about your idea accept the pain future will be fruitful so this is a story is talking about see uh, here lot of people are uh, walking uh, with some kind of um, weights they have each one ha- holds their own weights okay so what it happened so each one feel uh, what the, they feel to face lot of difficulty to hold this weight and to reach the particular destination therefore one person what he did so if he cut the the 
part of this particular problems or particular weight so we may get lesser weight and we can bleed it properly we can reach that destination first like that he think then what he did lord it's too heavy please cut it down a little like this suppose you feel that out of this much of five paper or four paper statistics difficult therefore i'm going to cut the statistics unit like that if you're planning then if you cut the things sometimes it may helping you so you may get the less weight you may get the less weight but that guy no he's not um, okay with this particular satisfaction he is moving somewhere he is leading the races and parallelly he may think that once again if he cut few more i may get the letter weight like uh, previously i cut only the one unit of statistics just i am getting the second unit of statistics like this, i he not prefer the second unit so once you cut like this uh, he may get the very smaller weight so like uh, only the uh, four uh, out of four paper he can learn only the three papers only so he can move he can fast and see the person all other persons are hold their all the weights but he is the person who sing the song and then reach the place first so now you can see the some of the singing notes in the above his head the green color man then after that there is a big trouble for him so he could not cross the what is the one place to other places because he cut these problems once he cut the problems he could not move to forward the next level so what it happened uh, it's like examination or the next examinations once you avoid to not learn any some specific subject what it happened others those who are already gained that experiences gained the, the better experiences they may use that pain as a path so now they treated that pain as a path they reaching that the proper destination they reach the other places then only the person those who are cut that pain because he like the the what is the reduce the pain so due to that only he is not moved to the next level so what is the conclusion about this accept the pain future will be fruitful so kindly don't avoid the pain right so kindly accept the pain and future will be fruitful don't be uh, don't feel the work you are doing is pain because there will be always a reason for the pain or what so face the pain for the pain you face there will definitely happiness ahead so i hope um, uh, so finally i give the conclusion don't ask the lighter lord uh, so always you can pray the god that pray god for a stronger back so we need a stronger back instead of a lighter load so don't ask the i don't need a problems sometimes our problem may help us to think about uh, think about to do the work in a different manner if you are not facing any problem nothing to be work okay so be always to face the problems happy to face the problem and work the problems that it will be helping for you so i hope now you understood what is exactly statistics and uh, how, what is the difference between descriptive statistics and differential statistics so we will meet in the next class